Um, obviously with the World Cup and the, um, the England girls doing so well and um, obviously we just had the Super League and um, it was a great success. I played at the finals day and I think there's nearly 4,000 people there and um, it was a really good atmosphere and um, yeah I think women's cricket is just a great place to be at the moment. Yeah. I think you know the, the girls have who have been involved in both the World Cup and the Super League have shown and seen that the you know, women's cricket is growing and it is kind of leaving a legacy behind and hopefully get more, more girls and boys playing the game. Well, as a team, it obviously was the World Cup final. Um, personally, playing in the semi-final and almost getting my team over the line that was quite a special moment for me. Playing in the Kia Super League just um, and playing at the Aegeus Bowl in front of um, really great crowds and obviously just missing out in the final. But for me, yeah, the Kia Super League was a really big highlight for me. The World Cup is the obvious one. I think that, you know, it's, it was a fantastic day, not just for us, but I think just for, for England women's cricket in general and just to see kind of that many people at the final and people supporting the game and it was just great to see. Everybody gets nervous. I think if you didn't get nervous, there's probably something a little bit wrong with you. I think maybe people kind of showed their nerves a little bit more than some. I'd like to think I probably look quite calm, but you know, we all get nervous and you can't tell me you work out, walk out in a World Cup final and not be nervous, but that's what, that's what kind of drives you. That's what that's what make, wants you want to get better and make you want to play in them types of games. I like to think of nerves as something that's preparing you to play your best cricket. When you're nervous, like our psych has actually told us that it actually goes back to prehistoric days when um, you were like running away from dinosaurs and stuff. So <laughs> it's actually being nervous is when you're preparing your body to uh, play sport and play at the highest level. So just flipping it around and making it a good thing. <laughs> You come into your first World Cup and you win it, it's, it's pretty special and I'm sure she's got uh, many more years to come and, and many more ambitions to fulfil but yeah she's been been fantastic for our group you know everybody looks up to her and uh, yeah. She's one of the most sociable people in the team and I think that's why it's so good she gets on with everyone she's a bit of a joker she loves to play a few pranks with Laura Marsh but obviously um, she sort of leads from the front obviously um, scores loads of runs and um, bowls as well so she does a bit of everything and um, she's a really determined character and um, yeah we all um, feel in pretty good hands under her. I'll tell you what she did do in the World Cup she got Catherine Brunt to write a rap to do before the semi-final uh, against South Africa and it was like the best team talk I've ever been part of. Like you need to, next time you interview her tell her to do the rap because it'll be great. <laughs>